containers, then you all need to buy pure R134. And it'll say, you know, R134 refrigerant. It won't say it has anything extra. But if it has, uh, this is Arctic Freeze Ultra Synthetic, colder air up to 50% faster. Advanced leak sealer. That's what it says. Okay? That sounds really good, doesn't it? Okay? I have a can of this that somebody brought me, and on the side of it, I says, I have a piece of tape that says, do not use, because I don't want you to put this in anything. I have it just for you to look at. It. Don't use this in the vehicles that you all work on or your own vehicles. Uh, it, it's it's going to cause problems down the road. The way this is supposed to work is if you put this in a leaking system, that magic pixie dust in there fixes your leak. Okay? Rarely does it work that way. Usually what happens is you still have a leak, and now you've got a bunch of sealer that's going to damage your really expensive components in that system. So you want to use pure refrigerant when you're dealing with recharge. So the, the identifiers that we just used do not detect this sealer. There's not an electronic tool that detects the, the sealer for refrigerant. We have to use another method to find it, to see if it has sealer mixed in with it. And what we'll use, this, this is made by Neutronics, and we'll basically hook this up to the system and we'll monitor the leak rate of the vehicle. So what we have, we've got a pizza hose, got a little flow device, we've got a quick connect coupling here, and we have a little test plug. What we're going to do is we're going to wet this test plug with a little bit of water and then put it back in this and then hook it up to this vehicle and monitor the flow rate when I first connect it and then compare that flow rate after about three minutes. And the way it works is if there is sealer in this system, then that sealer is going to mix with the moisture that I put in my test plug and the flow rate will go down if it has sealer in the system. If it does not have sealer in the system, the flow rate will stay the same. Okay? Now that so, little test kit there, how much does that run? It's not much. It's 75 bucks. And you buy these little plugs. You can buy the plugs, uh, you know, in lots of five or ten. If you use a plug on a dry system, on a system that's not got sealer in it, you can reuse it. The only time you have to throw these away is if you hook it up and you've got sealer in it, and then it stops up the little orifice in it. Okay? Let's go ahead and take that to the water fountain and just put a little bit of water on it for me, Kyle. And you may say, you're creating a leak there, Mr. Clemens, and yes, I am. But it's a, it's, a, it's a test that's valid. It's the only way that I'm aware of that you can find the sealer. Now, when do you need to use a tool like this? Do I need to use a tool like this on that brand new car right there? Do I really need to use it on my trainer here? I'm just showing you all how it works. When you need to use it is if you get a vehicle that you're not familiar with. So when you all bring your vehicles in, use this. Because I don't know where it's been. And I want to make sure that we're not going to pull refrigerant into my $3,000 machines that's got sealer in them. So we're going to use this test on your vehicles that you all bring in. You don't know where it's been unless you bought it brand new and you, you're the only person and you know who's worked on it. If you bought it used, it could have sealer in it, you won't even know. Okay? So the way we'll do this is we'll hook the test plug back into the quick connect coupling. We'll hook this back up to my hose. And then what I'm really supposed to do is run this vehicle for a couple of minutes to mix up the refrigerant and then do this test. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and do it now just to show you. The, the way the instructions tell you to do it is you run the vehicle for a couple of minutes and then do the test. I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. This connects to the high side fitting. And you've got to be real careful because you've got a quick connect coupling here you've got a quick connect coupling up here. If you mess this up while you're trying to attach to the vehicle, you're going to have a big leak in your face. So you be real careful there, okay? So I'm going to 
try to be very careful in connecting. Okay? Alright, so, so that's how to use that tool. 